Organized crime has always been about the sum of its parts. No matter how big or rich the cartel, no matter how powerful or notorious the boss, organized crime's continued success always comes down to the little guys. The mob reporter here with a look at some of the worker bees of organized crime who keep the contraband flowing around the world. Like this guy, allegedly. There were several separate police operations this week that hit these worker bees. Workers with unusual jobs that you might not associate with international drug trafficking, but who form that crucial link between the cartel's boss and the cartel's customers. One important way that cartels of South America and Mexico get their cocaine into Europe is by ship. But getting it through border controls at a port can be risky. So the cocaine is often unloaded out at sea onto small fast boats that are run by local sailors and boatmen who smuggle it to shore and send it on its way to the next cog in the machine. One of the primary smuggling zones in Europe is in Galicia, a region along the northwest coast of Spain, just above Portugal. It's long been a smuggling paradise because of its secluded coves on its long, curving coastline. Police in Spain, helped by the Spanish Navy, targeted the area's most important drug trafficking organization, which in this case was a confederation of experienced boatmen who intimately knew the zigs and zags of the coast and the unpredictability of its sea, which offered its services to some of the world's most important narco-traffickers to collect its cocaine at sea and haul it ashore. The raids and arrests were prompted by the approach of a merchant vessel registered in the Tongalese Republic. Police and naval vessels intercepted the ship 300 miles off the Galician coast. Its 15 crew members were detained. Also on board were 4,000 kilos of cocaine. Another 13 people were arrested on shore, including boatsmen and traffickers who are moving the contraband further inland. The group had a large collection of speedboats, souped up with powerful motors, hidden in warehouses around the region. Five speedboats were seized in the raids. Now a few weeks earlier, Spanish police busted more grunts, a little further to the east on the Bay of Biscay. Believe it or not, these were professional narco-divers, and they were caught red-handed, and this was a first in Spain. Their specialty was scuba diving at night to vessels recently arrived in port from South America. Before these deep draft ships had set sail, watertight bricks of cocaine were hidden in vents on the outside hull, the part that falls deep beneath the water. And it was their job to recover them. Now also this week on Spain's southern coast, a police drone spotted a narco boat tucked away near a national park on the one great navigable river of Spain. When two crewmen on board noticed the police drone, they jumped in the river to escape. But they were caught on the shore. Police say this 32-foot semi-rigid inflatable boat was heading out into the open sea en route to Morocco. And there they were to stock up on hashish. All of these grunts, these worker bees, are crucial cogs in the drug trafficking pipeline. While most of the attention in the war on drugs goes to chasing the big bosses, it's the worker bees that are getting down to business and are most likely to be the ones that are caught. Thanks for watching.